Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how Denodo's data virtualization can accelerate data science in the cloud. Notice how data virtualization sits in between your data scientist activities on the right in blue and the various data sources on the left. With data virtualization, you can easily combine different data sources together. You can extend your physical data lake into a virtual data lake. You can bring in other data sources such as your data warehouse, cloud applications, or even ad hoc data sources your data scientists may need. Now here's a typical data scientist workflow. Unfortunately, they spend a lot of time doing the first two activities on the left, finding their data and massaging it, which takes away their valuable time from their analysis and algorithm work. Denoto can help by providing a data catalog where it's easy for them to search and find data within the virtual layer. Once they found their data, it's easy to combine the different data sources together, perform transformations, and create models for their analysis. In this demonstration, I'm going to see if I can predict bike usage based on previous year data. I have my bike data in CSV format on an S3 bucket, I have weather data coming from a cloud source, and date data in Amazon CMI. I'm going to combine these three different data sources together in Denodo, perform some transformations, and then finally do our analysis in Apache Zeppelin. So let's start with our data catalog and search for data. Now I'm going to search for ride data. As you can see here, I'm brought to our list of results. However, something like override balances probably isn't very useful for us. So we can narrow down our search by using categories and tags. As you can see here in this example, one field matches our search term. We can see the name. We can see where ride appears in the description. I can click on the name of the view to get more information about it. I'm brought to a summary tab where I see my description, my field names, their descriptions, and their types. If any relationships have been defined, I can see that. So I can see a relationship has been defined between weather and our date. We can run a query within the tool to make sure that this is the data we need. It's a simple drag and drop interface. And because I have related views, I can bring in a field from those related views as well. Once I've completed building my query, I simply click the Run button and get my results. Now if I like this, I could export this data in various formats. I can save this query and come back to it later. To see my saved queries, I simply click on My Queries. Now I can share this query with other users if I like. So as you can see, the data catalog makes it easy for you to find the data you're looking for and validate that it's what you want. Now let's move over to our administration and database tool. The first thing we'd want to do is connect to our various data sources. This is easy. I can right click, select new, and then data source, and then simply pick the data source I want. Maybe it's LDAP, Excel, multi-dimensional cube, However, most of your sources are going to be JDBC based. We simply give it a name, pick the database adapter you're looking for. So maybe something in the Azure Cloud or even Amazon Redshift. We simply specify the host and the port and the database and our authentication method. And just like that, it's easy to create a connection, much like any other database or reporting tool would work. In the case of our S3 bucket, Denota provides a custom wrapper. Once we've configured this, we can simply click Create Base View to go ahead and get the metadata and create the view within the system. We just fill in information such as where it's coming from, path, etc. We can see this in our pre-configured example here. I specified my S3 bucket, the path within the bucket, the core site XML for our security, and the separator is a comma. It's using a header. So now I've brought in the metadata. We can query this easily and get our results set back. Now that we've brought in our various data sources, it's easy to combine them in the virtual layer. I can simply right click, say do, join, bring in the other views I'd like to connect this to, like our date and our weather. I can create joins between these views by dragging and dropping. We can get more information on the joins. Note that we have an inner join, but we can make it a left, right, or full. If we had to specify a where condition, we could. If we wanted to group our data, 
Here's our output tab. Notice that dates in red, we have a name conflict here. I could rename it. In this case, let's just simply remove it. We could do things like order our data. So let's order it on date. And then give our view a name. So now that we've created this view, we can go ahead and start our analysis in Apache Zeppelin. First, we're going to look at our ride data, and I'm connecting directly to Denodo. So I'm going to see if maybe weekends influences the amount of rides taken. As you can see, there's a small difference in the weekend or not. Maybe holidays makes a bigger effect. And that's a much more significant factor. We could also look at maybe how much it rains, the minimum temperature, the maximum temperature, etc. Now notice here that our weekend and our holidays are Y and N, but that's not good for our algorithms. And we're going to need to perform a transformation and convert those to zeros and ones. So let's go back to our tool and perform that transformation. Now this is easy. And if you notice, I've just created a case statement that converts the Y to a 1 and everything else into a 0. And I've gone ahead and performed this for our weekends and our days of the week fields as well. So now we can go continue our analysis in Zeppelin. Now we're going to do our analysis using Python. The first thing we're going to do is read in various factors for 2017 along with the trip data and then the same for 2018. Now that we've loaded our data, we can instantiate our model. Now we can run some predictions. And now the predictions are done, we can go ahead and plot the results. Now notice here our model fits okay, but maybe we're not quite capturing the peaks right. So we could go ahead and iterate through our process. Maybe we want to change the factors that we picked. Or maybe we want to bring in new data, such as was there a home baseball game during the summer, or maybe just a home sporting event in general. So as I've demonstrated, Denodo can help accelerate your data scientists. We can make it easy for them to find data with our data catalog. We can also use the virtual layer to combine your various data sources together for their analysis. If you'd like to find out more, please take one of our test drives either on AWS or Azure. Thank you.